23rd and December 24th Current Affairs 2017. Deputy Prime Minister Afresha Dmitri Rogozin visits India. May launch a summit to take Indian foreign policy to students across the country. Bangalore to host 7th International Coffee Festival. National Farmers Day or Kizan Diwans. BCCI appoints Saba Karim as General Manager. LT General BSROI takes over as NCC. Donald Trump signs tax, government spending bills into law. Venkaya Nadu attends centenary celebrations of Yoga Institute in Mumbai. Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin reached the New Delhi. He will be co-chairman of India-Russia Intercom Mission Meeting on Trade, Economic, Scientific, Technical and Cultural Cooperation IRIGC Tech. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj will host Mr. Rogozin and lead the Indian side. The meeting will enable both sides to review the progress achieved by various working groups and subgroups under IRIGC Tech. With an aim to bring the foreign policy to the masses the External Affairs Ministry Sushma Swaraj has come up with an initiative, so meet students and Maya engagement program. Under this Maya officials will talk to students to help them better understand foreign policy. The main objective of SAMIP is to take Indian foreign policy and its global engagements to students across the country. Under this program, all the ministry officers, under secretary and above, will be asked to go to their hometowns, particularly their alma maters. The 7th edition of the India International Coffee Festival IICF, will be held in Bangalore from January 16th to 19th. The four-day IICF 2018, being organized by the India Coffee Trust and state-run coffee board to promote the Indian coffees globally. IICF 2018 would be a precursor to the International Coffee Organization's World Coffee Conference being hosted by India in Bangalore in 2020. Popularly known as Kisan Diwas, the National Farmers' Day is a national occasion observed on December 23rd every year. National Farmers' Day or Kisan Diwas is celebrated in the honor of Choudhury Charan Singh who was the fifth Prime Minister of India. He served the country as Prime Minister for a very short tenure starting from 28th of July 1979 until January 14, 1980. He was a very simple-minded man and led an extremely simple life. Former India wicketkeeper Saba Karim was appointed as General Manager, Cricket Operations, of the BCCI. Kareem will assume office from January 1st and he will report to CEO Rahul Jory. He will assist Jory in meeting the board's vision and strategy. The general manager's post has been lying vacant since the resignation of MV Sridhar in September over the issue of conflict of interest. Sridhar passed away on October 30th. <laughs> Lieutenant General BSRO I took over the reins of National Cadet Corps as its director general. The general officer is a third-generation army officer. He is alumnus of the National Defense Academy, Kodakwasla and Indian Military Academy, Duraden. He was commissioned in December 1918 13th Battalion, Rizangla, the Kumin Regiment. He has been awarded the Sena Medal during the floods of Kosi River in Bihar in 2008. <laughs> US President Donald Trump signed Republicans' massive $1.5 trillion tax overhaul into law, cementing the biggest legislative victory of his first year in office and also approved a short-term spending bill that averts a possible government shutdown. The two pieces of legislation represent Trump's most significant accomplishment with Congress since taking office in January, as well as a sign of what awaits when he returns from his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida after the Christmas holiday. Democrats had opposed the bill as a giveaway to the wealthy that would add $1.5 trillion to the $20 trillion national debt during the next decade. Vice President Venkaya Naidu attended the centenary celebrations of the Yoga Institute in Mumbai. The institute is one of the oldest yoga schools, running with the mission to spread the message of yoga. Maharashtra Governor C. Vidhisagar Rao and Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis were also present. Addressing the gathering Vice President, a healthy nation can become a wealthy nation, and yoga is one of the cheap instruments for healthy life. He stressed on learning the Matra Basha or one's mother tongue before learning any other language and respect diversity. <laughs>